I wake up at 7 a.m. I make some hot tea and I get some morning sunlight in my eyes because even getting 5 to 10 minutes morning sunlight is extremely beneficial. Along with the tea, I also read a book for 15 minutes. I quickly have my shower, breakfast and get ready and leave for office. Usually I am remote, but I go in once a month just for a change in environment. And today is one of the days where I'm going to the office for the first half of the day to meet with my colleague. So I leave around 8.30. The office is a 30 minute drive from my house. So I reach the office at 9 o'clock. and quickly set up my workspace in one of the empty tables. Most of the people are working from home. The company is pretty flexible in that aspect. First thing, I quickly log in. I check my emails and Slack messages to see if I have any new messages and I respond to them. So as a data analyst, you also have a lot of meetings throughout the week. So I look for the meetings for today. I have one in-person meeting at 10 o'clock and then I have a couple of meetings in the afternoon. So I still have a solid one hour to do some focus work, which is pending from the previous day. In my current role as a data analyst, I have a good mix of data engineering, data analytics, and BI stuff. So I mostly use Python to build data pipelines, data cleaning, and transformation. And then I push that data to Snowflake. So I do most of my analysis using SQL because that's the bread and butter of a data analyst. And finally, once the analysis is done, I bring that data to Power BI to represent it visually in the form of charts and graphs. So right now, currently I'm working on a Power BI dashboard enhancement for one of the stakeholders. At 10 o'clock, I head to the meeting room for the meeting with my colleague. The meeting was basically to discuss some dashboards and tasks that I have been working on for the last one month. I finished the meeting at around 11.30 and then I work on updating our SQL logic. And then I head to the company snacks bar where they have a lot of variety of snacks. I take some and then I start heading back home to continue the rest of the work from home. It's a 20 minute drive back now as it's less traffic compared to the traffic in the morning. I reach home at 12.30. I use a standing desk sometimes because when you are sitting for the whole day and working for long hours, sometimes it feels good to stand and work and it helps to be more productive as well. At one o'clock, I have a meeting with my manager to show the Power BI dashboard announcement I was working on and get feedback. I note down all the changes that he recommends and he also gives me new tasks and enhancements that I have to work for the upcoming days and weeks. And I usually track all my to-do list tasks and project using Notion. So Notion is kind of my second brain because that's where I have my entire workflow. So all the tasks, projects, useful links and resources, notes are all tracked in Notion. So after doing all of this, I have my lunch and I relax for some time. At 2.30 I log back in and now I pick up one of the new tasks that I have been assigned by my manager to do some focus work. So this task basically involves building a data pipeline. So I have to use a combination of SQL and Python to do the job. And that's one of the good things about being a data analyst. The tasks that we work on are sometimes very challenging and exciting. At 3.30, I have a meeting with one of the stakeholders to get more information and requirements about a business problem which needs data analytics and data monitoring. And one of the main tasks of our data analyst is to clearly understand the requirements, business context, and business impact, and come up with creative ways to solve the problems. So the meeting ends at 4.30, I still have 30 minutes to wrap up my work. So I continue working on the Power BI dashboard enhancements based on the feedback I got from my manager. It's 5 o'clock and time to log off. I'm Sandeep and I work as a data analyst. Hopefully you got a peek into the life of a data analyst. It was one of those days where I had a lot of meetings and I also had to go and come back to the office which was time consuming. But it's not like that on all the days. Sometimes there would be no meetings at all. Those days you would have enough time to do deep and focused work. There are a lot of good things about being a data analyst. The first thing is 
you are actually a problem solver so you will always have a lot of challenging and exciting problems to solve even though some of the tasks might feel repetitive or boring these challenging problems make the job more fun you don't need to be expert in any of the technical stuff like you can always use google or chat gpt or any ai as a code assistant and it's also pretty high paying job so my initial salary was $75000 per year but now after 3 years my salary has jumped more than 50% there are a few cons as well like there might be a lot of meetings on some of the days and because of that you will not even have actual time to, to work on the actual stuff other thing what i have seen is i had also faced times where i was actually spending more time on just fixing issues and bugs in the existing dashboards and pipelines rather than working on the new and exciting challenging problems so if you are someone who wants to become a data analyst and you are asking the question is this a good career path Yes, it is a good career path, but remember that you still need to put in the number of hours of hard work and effort and the time to build your skills and resume to stand out from the market because it's already oversaturated. Hopefully, you found this video useful. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please do share the video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this. See you again soon with another exciting video. Bye.